<laughs> Guys, what just happened? <laughs> so we're getting ready for a conference. Um, and the last part of getting ready is putting on your shoes, but someone can't do that <laughs> because someone else took her shoes. <laughs> and that person left. Shelly's mom <laughs> took Shara's shoes. <laughs> we're just waiting for her to come back. Oh my god! Where is she oh, going? Yeah. I'm over this. I need to ya. Go to one to I don't know. 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 I do Woke up some, with some good vibes. We're gonna go to the women's conference now. 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Hopefully I can vlog a little bit, but if I can't, then just know we'll be there for three hours. Oh yes, yes. You guys, we found the, the treasure. <laughs> <laughs> Did we just sleep till like 3 a.m. or 3 or 4, right? And we had to wake up at 7 this morning. If you're wondering why we're here, because we're going to the library, because I want to study. <laughs> no, I need to use the bathroom. Let's pretend we know where we're going. Oh, we found the bathroom. What? Sharon, how do you feel about these elevators? Not good. <laughs> Okay, like, okay, so we go fun CSU East Bay in the elevator. Like I said, Shelly's mom is such an OG. We came back just now, and this is on Sharon's car. And it says, no parking here, thank you, on a paper towel. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Bye, Link. Bye, Sky. Bye, Bye, Bye <laughs> Yo, this is a very awkward position, but I am on my way to the gym and uh, probably just like put this somewhere here so that you guys can listen to me just talk about what I learned at the women's conference. Oh, this is so awkward. Okay, see you soon. Bye. I feel like I need that natural high, those natural endorphins you get when you exercise. So, what I learned from the women's conference was two things. One, it was actually a Bible verse. It's Exodus 14.4 and it says, the Lord your God will fight for you. You need only to be still. And I think it's so relatable right now because a lot of the times when I go through things, I tend to want to control the situation when in reality, sometimes you can't control the situation and you're just gonna have to sit back, relax, and let God do the rest because a lot of the times things aren't just out of your control and you probably can't control your situation but you can control how you feel and you can control, um, I guess, what you do in reaction to the situation, if that makes sense. So the second thing I learned from the conference was a lot of the times we tend to think that we aren't enough or that we don't do enough to be called worthy of God's love and things like that. And oftentimes it causes a void in our hearts and we feel dissatisfied in life in general and yeah. But in reality what we don't have enough of is the awe and wonder of who God is and how big he is compared to our petty little problems. <laughs> I was thinking about where God is in my current situation because I had a conversation with Shelly the other day and she was saying something about where God is in this and I was like, hmm, where is God in all of this situation? And I think that you gotta be careful what you pray for because I prayed to God for freedom to make my own choices. And because this situation happened, like now I'm free to make my own choices. And maybe God is just telling you, hey, this was something that was holding you back from reaching your full potential and this is something that needed to be let go of, stripped away so that you can be free to do what you need to do now without any restrictions. That's what's on my mind currently and I'm about to be at the gym now, so I will catch you guys later. Oh my goodness, your girl be sweating hot. <laughs> that was a good workout. I feel so much better. So I am now going to get some boba for me and Vic. And he's got barbecue from his coworker's place. So it's gonna be real lit. I can't wait for barbecue.